Well, this is a picture of me back, I think, when I was in high school. Oh, boy. I didn't get saved to about 2004. This was back in the 90s. This guy was not who he was, who he is today. This guy was searching for something to fill a hole in his life. I wasn't out partying or getting drunk or anything. But I was involved in sexual sins. Had a lot of anger pent up in me. This guy ran away from the Lord for almost two and a half decades. Went to church every single week. Even fought to not to go sometimes. But God was patient with this person. And I think he brought a lot of incredible people into his life to encourage him. He wouldn't listen. And there was never a day that it was going to get better. It was going to get worse and worse and worse. And He even at times contemplated on killing himself, taking his own life. See, that's what Satan does. In Satan, there is no love, there is no peace, there is no joy. There's only despair. And with it comes a lot of anger. Then, later on in 2004, God got his attention one more time. I was watching Monday Night Raw, and all of a sudden went to a commercial, and then for some reason I turned it over to TVN. And when I turned it over to TV, and uh, there was a preacher talking about heaven, his well-known preacher. And I heard about heaven, and I heard about Jesus all my life, but talked about it in a way that I've really never really opened myself up to let it myself hear about it. Then. I went to my girlfriend's house, who would become a wife, and before I came down, the Lord told her that I was lost. And so I made a decision to, later on that week, to give my heart and life to Jesus Christ. And That's what I needed in my life. And in my life, where I had no hope, I had hope. Where I had no joy, I had joy. 
where I had no peace, I had peace. And Jesus did more for me now in 15 years than Satan ever did for me in two and a half decades. And there's some rough times, and there's still going to be rough times until the Lord comes back. But, and I never look back on it. I made some mistakes, but yeah, I'm very happy about my life now. And God has blessed me in more ways than some ones. Once by reaching out to you who watch me. And reaching all around the world through YouTube, through Facebook and stuff. And I praise Him for that. And my first vision I ever had after I got saved was I was riding home after I left the church and the vision of heaven's gates kept opening up and it just kept repeating and repeating. I was crying over and over and I didn't care who was watching. But if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. All you have to do is just call upon his name. Well, I love you until we meet again up in the clouds. Well. Here or up in the clouds, to God be the glory forever.